uh, that it protects innovations of innovators and young people. And least but not the uh, last but not the least is effective knowledge sharing and networking against stakeholders. That would be, I think, vital. Uh, indigenous efforts, we started late, but we are on the right path. And uh, most of these uh, efforts have borne some kind of a fruit and some, you could say, uh, some green shoots of this were visible during Operation Sindhur. Uh, I would like to talk about uh, Brahmo's air launch version. They were used very extensively with effect. We had a number of uh, surface-to-air platforms, all manufactured industry like Akash, Summer and MR SAM. A number of counter US systems, they were developed for jamming, spoofing of uh, systems. They were uh, from man portable to very, very complex systems, developed not only by Bell, but the private industry. Uh, Zen and Accord were at the head of it. We had lot of ammunitions, uh, not only developed by, again, EPSU, but also like private companies like Sola, Nagastra One, which proved very, very successful. Uh, we had DRDO developed radar systems. They were employed on ships very effectively. Uh, and I had spoken earlier about integration. So we have this uh, IACCS system and we have integrated with the Army networks, Apache, and with the naval ones. Uh, these were good initiatives. Other than that, we had this uh, somehow uh, secure mobile communication, etc. So number of indigenous products which we have developed in the past few years, they fielded and fielded very, very successfully. Uh, apart from this, there are a number of initiatives which uh, the Ministry of Defense is undertaking to promote indigenization. And the first among them I would like to talk about is DPM 2025. Uh, that has been approved by Honorable Raksha Mantri and uh, that will be uh, released soon. Uh, and the last DPM, if you recall, was in 2009. So it's uh, almost about 16 years. So this uh, DPM is going to remove procedural delays. This will enable uh, CFAs. Uh, it will align to the latest amendments in GFR 2017 and enabling provisions uh, of this are in accordance with the Manual for Procurement of Goods 2024 and prioritization of domestic sourcing to Make in India initiative and additional opportunities for private industry and MSMEs. So this has already been done and the next document that's going to be revised by the Ministry of Defense is uh, DAP 2020. So I think that's the uh, revision because uh, that's overdue. And in this, uh, while the services have already provided their inputs uh, to the Department of Defense, uh, in case there are inputs from the industry, from the academia, SIDM, I'll request all of them uh, to provide input so that we have a very comprehensive uh, DAP uh, 2020. The services on their part uh, have initiated uh, a number of initiatives in which we try and tell out to the academia and to the industry as to what our needs would be there in the future. And this is being done by in various forums and various methodologies. So we have started this future warfare course. So what kind of warfare will be there in future? And uh, these courses are rank agnostic. It's not only service personnel, but we invite people of the industry also to be part of these courses. Uh, recently in Mao, we held this Runs and War, that's conversations on war and warfare, in which again, uh, the industry had participated in large numbers. So you get a fair idea as to what uh, kind of warfare are we looking in future. Uh, then warfare is uh, also about doctrines and concepts. Uh, this, uh, we have over time released a large number of doctrines. Most of them are in the open uh, source and you can have a look at this. So you'll get to understand how the services are looking at war fighting in future. We are also going to take out a number of policies in a number of initiatives like uh, space, cyber, artificial intelligence, quantum mission, advanced materials, war game simulations, and lethal and autonomous weapon systems. So how do the services see their role in this in future, these policies, and thereafter it also gives a view to the industry. That's one part of it, apart from strategic signaling. You are all aware that uh, we have recently uh, issued the TPCR, that's the Technology Capability Perspective Roadmap for the next 10 years. That was done during Ran Sambad by the Honorable Raksha Mantri. Uh, we are also working on an integrated capability development plan, which hopefully by this year end, we should be able to produce it. Uh, that should also give you a fair idea of what the services are looking at. Uh, this is in addition to uh, IDEX challenges in which the services uh, contribution of services, not only bringing out the problem statements, uh, that is one, 
so that you can find some kind of a solution to it. Apart from that, uh, we also give you some kind of a conceptualization of a product as to how we are looking at it. It's not only the problem statements. And this whole initiative over a period of few years has been very, very effective. Uh, today we have almost about uh, 404 promising solutions and uh, almost worth about 490 crores under this IDX themes. So, uh, so I strongly believe that uh, Atmir Bhatta, as I said earlier, is a sign up to a norm for us and uh, it's important so that we uh, exercise strategic autonomy. Uh, in the end, actually, I would like to say that uh, all the stakeholders of defense industry must work together with a singular aim of national interest. Rashtra Pratham ki bhavna jo hai sarupri honi chahiye. We have uh, competence and the drive and uh, be rest assured that the armed forces will be there with you as trying to handhold you. Uh, the only important thing which I want to emphasize probably before I end is uh, speed. We are a bit slow in this kind of reforms what's happening and the world is actually traversing rather fast. Uh, the geopolitical events are overtaking us, the march of technology is overtaking us and uh, this particular reforms or new products which we are looking at, they are slightly so slow. So I think there is a need for, uh, the direction is correct, there is a need for speed I think, uh, urgency of reforms and in this uh, maybe uh, I'll end by a small quote, uh, it's something about future. Kal jo hai wo kal hi aega. Iska matlab hai actually wo kabhi nahi aega. So jo karna hai wo hume abhi karna hai, aaj karna hai. Thank you ladies and gentlemen for your patient hearing. Thank you and jai hind.